back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Casey and if you are new, I would love you to take one quick second and go down below, hit that subscribe button and click the little bell button so you'll never miss when I post a new video. So as you guys can see, my hair is a little bit different today. I feel like I'm giving Holly Berry vibes or something. This is actually the first time that I did a perm rod set on my shortcut. This video is in partnership with Cream of Nature. Shout out to Cream of Nature. I just recently did a video on a professional twist out at home using their new coconut milk collection and today I'm going to be showing you guys a few more products from that collection as well. The coconut milk collection just released this January. You can find it in your local beauty supply stores and in the collection there are seven brand new styling products. In the collection there were already a shampoo and a conditioner but they just added seven new products for styling purposes. So in my previous video I showed you guys how I use their curling cream and their seven essentials oil and their edge control to get a really really nice twist out basically replicating the style that I got done by them professionally when I did their color crush event in New York and today I'm going to be showing you guys a perm rod set using the coconut milk curl quench foaming mousse that's in the collection as well my hair you guys it feels so soft typically when I use mousse on my hair it feels like crunchy and weird but my hair literally feels like I styled it with a butter or something it feels so nice to take down my perm rods, I also use the 7 Essentials Treatment Oil again. So, if you guys would like to see how I use the mousse and the oil to achieve this really cute perm rod set, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to be starting on blow-dried hair. I find that blow-drying my hair before doing certain styles with my shortcut just gives me a lot more volume and a lot more length, and it just makes it easier to work with. So these are the perm rods I'm going to be using. I just have four different sizes because my hair is literally like four to five different lengths. So the largest one is purple, then white, then gray, then pink. And I just purchased these at my local Sally Beauty Supply. So the first thing I'm going to do is split my hair up. I'm going to split the longer parts of my hair from the shorter parts of my hair. And I kind of wanted it to be even on both sides. So I did like a perfect circle around. So that way the front was evenly together and then the sides were also so even so there's no like side part or middle part so as you can see I started on the back and on the shortest part of my hair I used the smallest ones which are the pink rods and I just left this one little section out so I could show you guys how to do the process so like I mentioned earlier I'm going to be using the cream of nature curl quench foaming mousse and it is from the coconut milk collection the mousse is a styling product that is used to add moisture and shine it also helps to tame frizz and of course it provides a medium hold which is perfect for any type of perm rod sets so I'm just going to take that mousse and apply it to that small section and I like to use the smallest perm rod sets like I mentioned earlier and I'm first going to twist my roots in order to prevent some shrinkage and to make it easier and then I'm going to twirl my finger around my hair so that way I get that nice spiral curl and not those Shirley Temple curls. <laughs> And then you want to tightly wrap your hair around the perm rod and then roll it as tight as possible to your root. And then of course clip the ends together to hold the perm rod in place. So once I am finished with the entire back section, I'm going to move on to the side. And my sides are short, but they're not as short as the back section. So I'm first just going to take some mousse and apply it to a small section on the sides. And then of course, I'm going to twist my roots up to prevent that shrinkage. And then I'm going to twirl my finger around my hair. And I'm going to grab the second largest perm rod, which is the medium length gray perm rods. And I'm going to use this um, on the side section of my hair. These are just a tad bit bigger than the pink ones. Then of course I'm just rolling it as tight as humanly possible and then clipping it in place. And then I'm done with the sides and the back. Depending on the length of your hair, you can kind of play around with uh, what size perm rods you decide to use. So next in this next section of my hair where it starts to get a little bit longer, I'm just going to part it into some smaller sections of course to make it easier to uh, apply the perm rods. Then of course I'm going to apply my mousse, twist it up at the root, twirl it around my finger, and then here I'm going to use the next largest perm rod which are the white perm rods. So once I was completely done with the white perm rod section of my hair, I think I had about two or three rows. And now I'm ready to work on the longest part of my hair at the top. Because my hair is so long here, I'm going to grab my largest perm rod, which are my purple perm rods. And of course, just repeat the same process that I did before. I'm going to split my hair up, apply the mousse to a small section. 
And then I'm going to twist my hair at the roots and then twirl my hair around my finger. Then take the perm rod and wrap it around and roll it up as tight as possible and then just secure it in place. So once I was all done twirling and curling, these are what my perm rods are looking like. This is not comfortable to sleep on at all, <laughs> but it will come out great in the morning so it's definitely worth it. With that being said, I'm going to let this dry overnight and I'm going to put on my Glow By Day bonnet. You guys know these are my favorite, favorite bonnets because I can adjust it to my peanut head. <laughs> So now it is the next morning and my hair is 100% dry. Definitely want to make sure that your hair is dry before you begin to take these out. Then you just want to carefully unravel them and as you can see my hair was so bouncy. And the process to take these out is probably just as long as putting them in just because there's so many. But just take your time and get through it. So to unravel my curls, I'm going to take the Cream of Nature 7 Essentials Treatment Oil. And this is a multi-purpose oil that you can use as an oil treatment. You can use it to remove your styles like I am today. It adds shine, it prevents frizz, and it also smooths and softens your hair. Plus on top of that, it smells so freaking good. <laughs> my little curls honestly looked so shiny prior to me putting the oil on anyway, so that was great. Okay, so here's the part you need to be very, very careful with. I know it's easy to kind of want to rush through this process, but definitely take your time unraveling the curls so that way you can prevent frizz. You can make sure that your hair is maintaining as much curl as possible. As you guys can see, in the front, I didn't really curl my hair correctly at the end, so that's why they looked a little bit straight. So definitely make sure that you curl your hair as tight as possible, especially on parts of your hair that may be a little bit thinner. It's really important to make sure that those ends are smooth so that way you don't get those stringy ends the way I did. Luckily they were only in certain parts though so it was kind of easy to hide. <laughs> So once I have all of my curls as unraveled as possible, I'm just going to take my pick and fluff out my roots just a tad bit to give me a little bit more volume and length. I personally don't mind a bit of frizz because it makes my hair look a little bit fuller than it is naturally, so I can tend to be a little heavy handed on the pick. But once I'm done, these are my final results and I think that this is such a cute little curly look. Definitely perfect for those that are transitioning and you're trying to hide those straight ends. Don't forget to check out the Cream of Nature collection. I'll put the link to where you can get it down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.